What to expect when buying in Trilogy Sunstone by Shea Holmes. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. Today I have a special guest with me. I have... Damien. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and Damien is a realtor in training, but by the time you watch this video, he may be a full-fledged realtor. Ooh, right? fingers crossed. Yes. Um, several months ago, or maybe a year or so ago, I have done a video previously on Trilogy Sunstone. And Trilogy Sunstone is a newer 55-plus active adult retirement community in the northwest part of the Las Vegas Valley. It is actually located off of 95 and Kyle Canyon Road. And Sunstone is a master plan community that has numerous builders like Lennar and Woodside Homes as well. But we are focusing on Trilogy Sunstone. So when I did this video last year or so, I focused mainly on the homes kind of. So I wanted to know or let you guys know what to expect when you buy in this community. Also, that now that this community has been around for a year or two, their amenities are starting to open up. So we were able to check out a lot of the amenities. We were there this week with some of my clients and I thought it would be great to do an updated video on Trilogy Sunstone. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as I mentioned, it is a 55 plus retirement community and the prices tend to be a little more reasonable um, than anywhere else. I think the starting price, the base price is around 413,000. Um, which is not bad, 413000 for a single family home. These are all single story homes. They do have duplexes and they have like three or four different collections, but we'll get more into that later. Right now we're gonna discuss what to expect. So since this is a 55 plus retirement community, they have what's called the 80-20 rule. And most retirement communities have this rule, but basically that you don't have to be 55 years old to actually buy and live in this community. I think the cutoff is 50 years old. However, sometimes there are people that are over 55 and their spouse is under 55, mm -hmm. like 40 or 45. So obviously they can still live with you as long as one person in the community is within that age restriction. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So that's the 80-20 rule. And it happens. Now, if something happens to your spouse and you're still under 55, obviously you can still live in that community. And that's the biggest concern that a few of our clients have had in the past. Yeah, this has come up in the past. So we've actually were able to dig deeper into that and get the right answer for you. So I want to yeah. share that with you. I mean, this is a beautiful, I mean, beautiful community. Mm. And I think with all the amenities that they offer is the best retirement community that offers the best um activities for retirees. Their schedule is very full. Yes, very full. We'll get into that again as we continue. But again, I wanted to go over what to expect when you're buying into Trilogy Sunstone. And the first thing is, is that you're going to have community memberships. So as I mentioned, there are three different collections. You have the Freedom Collection, the Resort Collection, and then the Modern Collection. So when you buy in this community, you're going to have a few different HOA fees. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to have what's called an initiation fee for the club, which is 5000 and that's for all three collections. However, the depending on the phases of the community, the club dues will be different for each of them. So for um, the Freedom Collection, which is the single story or single family homes, not the duplexes, the club one phase is $158 a month. Once phase two is completed, which will be around 2024, then it would be $208 a month. And that's for everybody. That's for everybody. Mm -hmm. It goes up at that point well, with phase two, right? Yes, everyone mm -hmm. goes up at phase two. And then the Sunstone Master Plan Community HOA is $55 a month, and the Trilogy Sunstone HOA is $86 a month. Mm -hmm. Okay. So total HOA dues for phase one is $29 a month, and once phase two is completed... Oh, uh, my apologies. $299 a month. Oh, sorry. What did I say? You said $29. <laughs> $299 a month. All right. Let's start over. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, that was cute. You should leave it in there. 
Okay. So I apologize, two ninety nine, <laughs> And then phase two um, would be $349 a month. Now, phase two is, again, the other amenities, like you're going to have some event lawn, you're going to have that restaurant. And when we were there and we spoke to the sales rep there, she said, tentatively 2024. Originally, I thought it was 2023, but, you know, with things and backlog, it's not going to be until 2024. So then in the next collection, which is your resort collection, and those are the duplexes, Mm -hmm. you're going to have a couple of, you're going to have an extra HOA, really. You still have that $5,000 initiation fee, but then um, in the same prices for phase one completion, HOA is $158, and then phase two is $208, and then the Sunstone Master Plan HOA is still 55, and Mm -hmm. the Trilogy Sunstone HOA is still 86. But you're going to have an additional maintenance fee of $132 a month. And what that means is that in the duplexes, your backyard is going to become landscaped. Mm -hmm. And they have different landscape packages. And you will not have to maintain your front or backyard in the duplex collection or the resort collection. So those fees pay for that. Exactly. And another thing that those fees pay for is the roof maintenance Mm -hmm. and then the actual building insurance and any exterior wall maintenance as well. So that's why you're paying a little extra when you live in a duplex. Now, most of the retirement communities are like that, like Sun City Summerlin. The townhomes in Sun City Summerlin will have an extra HOA because all of those um, amenities or maintenance is not have to be maintained by the homeowner. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then your total HOA fee for phase one is $431. And then for phase two, it'll be $481. Now, Mm -hmm. obviously, again, as um, Damien mentioned, this is for everybody. Once each phase is completed, Mm -hmm. these HOAs will go up. Now, because it is a newer community, they sometimes HOAs tend to increase sporadically (laughs) yes and then for the modern collection and they're just starting to do the modern collection and the modern collection are more like two and three story condo living Mm -hmm. um they're single level living but they are three stories high um from what the lady mentioned to us um you have the first level the second level um and there's the first and second level are split, but then the third level is just one floor, like a, a penthouse suite, right. kind of like thing. So of course these HOAs it has an elevator to get there. Yeah, it has an elevator to the third floor, but she said there is no elevator to the second floor, which I thought was kind of weird. In a retirement community, uh, that was uh, we, we'll dig a little deeper on that one, but she did mention that. Yeah, because mm-hmm. in Trilogy Summerlin, the two story and three story similar to this mm-hmm. have elevators. So that's kind of interesting that they don't in a retirement community, like you said. Mm -hmm. Um, So again, the same initiation fee, um, but once phase one's completed, it's going to be $150 a month. And then phase two, $200 a month. The same Sunstone Master HOA 55 and Sunstone Trilogy um, 86. But then you're going to have a condo association fee. I so many fees. Yes, so many fees. (laughs) And that fee is $378 for the first phase. Mm-hmm. And then, oh, I apologize. So you're going to have additional maintenance fee of 378 There you go. Okay. Mm-hmm. So then your total HOA fee for phase one is $669. And then in phase two, it's going to be $719. Okay. Everybody liked numbers, right? We all got all that? Yeah. It's, it's a <laughs> lot. And for me, that is a lot of money. Yeah, an HOA. For H, for condos. I can see why the, mm-hmm. the resort and the Freedom Collection HOA is that way. Because of what you get. What you get. And now, now we're getting to the good part. Right. Why is it so expensive? I think we need to share. There's a there's a reason for right. this as well. Right. Well, mm-hmm. there's additional information I want to go over before mm-hmm. we get into oh, the yes. amenities. That's a good um, part. Yes. So Save the best for last. You know, when you buy new construction in Las Vegas or Henderson or North Las Vegas, you're going to have what's called SIDS or LITs. SIDS are for Las Vegas and North Las Vegas, where LIDS is for Henderson only. Mm -hmm. And SIDS stand for Special Improvement District. And it's only for the master plan communities. It's not for these one-off communities. It's for a a, a well-planned community. And basically, it's the infrastructure of the community. The city tax on. Mm -hmm. They do the... um, 
lights and sidewalks. The lights, the sidewalks, the streets, everything. Mm -hmm. And so the city tax that onto the builder and then the builder tax it onto the homeowner. And that's typically um, paid within 15 to 20 years and paid um, twice a year for this community is April and October, and it's $965 a year, which isn't that bad. Yeah. Not bad So it's spread all. over all the homeowners in the area. Yeah, so mm -hmm. when you buy new construction in Las Vegas and it's in a master plan community, expect to pay a SID or a LID. All right, so for the HOA, you will be charged a one-time HOA capital contribution of $2,700 at closing on top of the $5,000 initiation fees. So basically up front, you're going to be paying $7,700 to buy into Trilogy Sunstone. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the retirement communities, if not all, require home buyers to pay a capital contribution fee. For example, Sun City Summerlin is a little over $1,800. So just FYI, this is not unordinary or, you know, it's normal to be paying to buy into the community so they can have that for their reserves. Um, another thing about this community is that solar is included. Every home mm -hmm. in this community will have solar. You have an option of either purchasing the solar outright or leasing the solar. So the solar is through um, Sonova, mm -hmm. and you have various warranties on the solar. You have a flat monthly payment for 20 years and no upfront cost, the 20 year installation warranty and a 25 year equipment warranty. So depending on the size of your home, the solar can cost anywhere between 14,000 to 19,000 if you purchase them. Mm -hmm. okay? But if you do lease it, depending on the size as well, it can be anywhere between $55 to $67 a month. Now, the caveat is that the solar, they don't cover a full 100% of your electricity. It's mm -hmm. only about 80% of electricity. So if you want to add extra panels, you would have to if you want to make sure that your electricity is covered 100%. Now, that means if it's only covered 80%, you are going to have some form of electric bill. So that's important to know, but you can't get away with it. That's It's a required thing, but the prices seem pretty reasonable considering what we've seen and other people who've bought solar, mm -hmm. right? Um, the build time is around nine to 12 months, and then you also have what's called an earnest money deposit. There is an earnest money deposit of total $55,000. 10,000 of that's actually going to go as an earnest money and the other 45,000 is going to be going towards the design studio options and that will all be credited back to you at time of closing. So the cool thing is is that 45,000 I, th this is what I like about this community was that you, they have the design studio on site and they give you four or five, maybe a handful of different collections to choose from, meaning like your modern farmhouse, your uh, casual chic, you know, yeah, the, chic, uh, yeah, the chic one. Yeah, mm -hmm. the chic one. Mm -hmm. And so that you can, um, they say this is what you can select from this community or from this collection. Um, you can't cross over to another collection, but you can cross over to all of these different options. So that's pretty cool that they make it very simple for you. If you're not a very design techie kind of person or mm -hmm. you don't know how to decorate your home, at least they give you like how the styles are for a modern farmhouse. Yeah, they give you like a whole package and it's, yeah. it includes floors and cabinets and hardware and countertops. And, and it's like it's all packaged together in this, you know, nice style. And so it makes it a little easier for you to choose what, uh, what style is more, you know, conducive for yeah, you. Yeah, I think it goes, I love it, want to have it, need to have it. You know, you, you right. rank it on which ones you want. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, and obviously you don't have to spend the 45000 in those upgrades, but you know, if you want a nice looking home, as I always say in a lot of my videos, the one area you don't want to skimp out on is the flooring. Mm -hmm. And then next is probably electrical, you know, having those, that right. extra. And then... Um, Countertops and cabinets. Yeah. And it's kind of cool too. Like I kind of like it too because it's, um, it allows the home buyer, the buyer, the homeowner to actually choose things that, that they like. Right. So that forty five thousand goes to things that are that you know, so it's more for them, more personalized. So personally I kinda like that touch too. Yeah. And they do have some quick move in homes. Oh, um, mm -hmm. um however if you want to build from ground up, like I said, the build time is nine to twelve months and they are going into their phase two of the um it's going to take five years to build out, right? So there's about four different phases for Trilogy Sunstone. 
But actually, if you break it down, the lady said there's probably six because there's a 3A phase and a 3B phase and a mm-hmm. four, you know, so, but right now they're in phase two. And when I say phase two for the amenities, that's a little different than the phase two as to where they are at and building. Mm-hmm. Okay, just mm-hmm. to, to clarify that. Phase two is not this phase two as to, phase two for the amenities is not the phase two for the homes. Right, because in phase two for the amenities, they were adding a restaurant and yes. a couple other uh, other things. They ha- they have a a cafe there now, right? But like a full restaurant was going to go in in phase two. So there is a, there are separations between that. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, so now we're going to go over the amenities, and Shea Homes does a really 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 good job when it comes to amenities. We have clients in Trilogy, Summerlin, and they're always posting a social calendar. I mean, if you could see it. This social calendar, let me see. I can't even see myself this way. There we go. They have a club events for the month of March, and they have tons and tons of activities. All right. So they have a 15,000 square foot kabachan social club, and um, it's like a resort club, and it's planned home. Um, so it's like resort like amenities, and they have a dedicated hospita- hospitality staff um, to create a live happier lifestyle every day. It's run by Blue Star Resorts, and they handle the club activities, which is a concierge service for Trilogy homeowners, which is really cool. So the HOA doesn't run the activities. Blue Star Resorts runs the activities, which I think is better than someone from the HOA board running the activities. Don't you think? A professional. They hire a professional to make sure it's ran correctly. And they opened the door for us as soon as we walked up there. They greeted. Everybody was saying hi. Exactly. It was, it was very professional, very um, inviting and warm. Well, the gentleman that greeted us was actually a homeowner of the community. True. Mm-hmm. Um, however, they to run the events and stuff, that's a whole different person. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. Just to clarify that. So right now for the Phase 1 Club facilities, which recent opened up last year and the pool will be opening up this spring but for phase one amenities it is a staff gated community not guard gated there's a staff gated community um, but you know the staff will let you in or if you live in the community you'll have your own little transponder and you can enter in yourself Mm -hmm. they have the kindred in maine coffee shop which um, has some light fare and coffee and you know tea and and hot cocoa and they are closed Mondays and Tuesdays then they have the OH Ellen's culinary studio then they have the men's and ladies locker rooms they have the resort pool and cabanas which will open this spring and the kids your grandkids can be there from 11 to 3 daily mm-hmm. okay and then they also have the pickleball courts and the, those are pretty busy yeah, too. Yeah, mm-hmm. and the fitness center. So, and the fitness center was very nice. Yes. And they have like a, a yoga studio or a Zumba studio attached to the fitness center. So when we went there, like Damien said, a gentleman of the community greeted us and gave us a tour of the facilities. And when you do go to Trilogy Sunstone and you want to look at the houses, make sure you bring your real estate agent with you on the very first visit so they can register you. Otherwise, they will not let me represent you. So just FYI on that. So the gentleman took us, very nice gentleman. He moved there in September. And um, as you walk in, you're greeted by a nice fireplace and a seating area. And then to the left, you have the middle, which is the Kindred and Main coffee shop right there. Um, And then you go further, there's more seating and the big culinary studio with the TV Mm -hmm. screens. And the guy said that they do have, like, um, through all the trilogies across the the country. Like Zoom events. Not Zoom events. Yeah, Yeah. Zoom events. Culinary Culinary Zoom Zoom events, events, which Mm -hmm. was pretty cool. Yeah, so you can you can actually learn how to cook right then and there if somebody in like Philadelphia or something. You know, right, or... right, right. <laughs> and then as you go further, then you're gonna hit the the fitness center, the state of the art fitness center. Mm-hmm. And the the gentleman said that it was designed for people forty or older. Mm-hmm. The equipment, um, so the equipment was, I mean, excellent. Yeah, perfect condition. And then you go down and you're gonna see the this big room with mirrors and probably for the Zumba classes and yoga as little, well little dancing and then the locker rooms were very nice also and then from there you have the beautiful pool which they just finally finished um and that pool was cool they had mm-hmm. one of those chair things right yeah the ones was that it that one no that was the del web at 
No. No, that was it. That was it. Okay, Mm -hmm. yeah. They did. Mm -hmm. They had those one chairs where if you are in a wheelchair, then they have like a chair that's seen on cruise ships Mm -hmm. where they could put you in the water yourself and you can enjoy the water. They had a beautiful hot tub, little lots of cabana areas, right? A heated lap pool. Yes. All yep, they had that. Unfortunately they don't have an indoor pool, but they do have a heated lap pool. Mm -hmm. Um and so that's pretty cool for phase one amenities. And so Phase two amenities, or future enhancements that we'll be hitting in 2024, is going to be the Cooper's Oak Kitchen and Tap Restaurant, mm-hmm. and that sounded amazing. You mm-hmm. were kind of more there during the conversation. Do you remember what he was telling you about the restaurant? Uh, nope. He just, that you heard basically everything that that's okay. what's supposed to be opened, and um, in 2024 sometime, and then uh, the Tap Restaurant is going to be uh, with it as well. Right. So yeah. And then the bocce courts will open. Mm-hmm. Then they're going to have a relaxing indoor-outdoor bar, event center, co- oh, Connect Four game patio. That's already was there. I had it pictures was. of that. And the giant chess things was there already, yep. too. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, the hiking, biking trails, um, event lawn, and then they're also going to have a dog park. They had dog parks already there as well. No. Didn't they? No. Okay. Dog park is going to be near the phase three oh, of the, the housing one. development. Mm-hmm. Um, but they didn't have dog parks yet. Okay. Um, the nice thing is that they have a lot of pickleball courts. I can't remember how many there were. I think there were four. No, I, there was more than was that. It? Okay. Yeah. But, you know, in the video I showed you what the pickleball courts look like. So it's pretty cool, all of these amenities. And I think for me, what sold me, even though I'm not of that age, was the slew of events that they have. So... Um, let's say what's today, the 10th of March. Uh, they don't have anything today, but then they have a culinary demo on Saturday with bread pudding. Then they're going to have a mixology demo with Renato. A little chemistry. Yep. And then they have a bracket challenge picks, daylight savings brunch, madness bingo, dinner at Fine bingo. Rock Steakhouse, movie night out. Oh, movie night out. So they, they plan <laughs> a lot of these right. these events to keep you active. And although this community is nowhere near completion, at least they have things going mm-hmm. for the homeowners that do live here. I have sold three homes in this community and my clients are very happy. Yeah, I, I was actually impressed too. It's easy to get to. Mm-hmm. I like that. Um, I like the roundabout too. I, f- I find that to be very beautiful. Like the scenery is nice. And then also the freeway is close by. Mm-hmm. Now, um, because the, the proximity of the freeway, we had some clients who were interested in just driving around the community as well to, to see how you know the traffic was like. Uh, the traffic is a little lighter on this side of town, obviously, you know, but um, we were, I was I was actually happy with the, the sound quality because they do have a wall, a retaining wall that blocks some things too. So anyway, so I just wanted to share that with you as well as we, yeah. did, we did check that too. We didn't hear much of we the didn't hear freeway much. noise. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're just going to briefly go over the homes. I've done a, an extensive video on the homes and I've done a video on each of the floor plans that are modeled there as well. But basically, this is the newest floor plans by Shea Homes, and the price ranges from the low 400s. Um, I say it says mid 600s, but it could be a little higher than that. So let me see if I have a pricing sheet on me right now, because I don't want to be wrong about that. Um, yeah, high 600s. Okay. So they have the four different collections to choose from with 13 different floor plans and eight models to look at. And they range in size between 1342 square feet to 2579 square feet with two to four bedrooms, two to three bathrooms. As I mentioned before, starting price at 413990 Lot premiums are anywhere between zero and 39000 And the average lot size is around 6,000 square feet. Again, I'm not going to go over the specific floor plans because I've done so very well. I will post a link to that video in the description below if you want to learn more about the Trilogy floor plans or if you want to see any of the model home videos that I have done previously. Um, Because of where it's located right now, it is a newer master plan community, so it's a little further away from shopping conveniences. However, if you get off of Sky Canyon Parkway, there's a big, huge Smiths right there. It's the largest Smiths in town. And if you go just a little further away, you have Centennial shopping center with the uh they have the sam's club the home depot they have it all there Mm -hmm. as well trader joe's yep they have everything over in that centennial shopping center i mean you name it they have it Mm -hmm. even car dealers (laughs) and if you go the other direction you'll get the costco on the other side but it's a little further away but that's on the 215 indicator in Mm -hmm. north las vegas yep Mm -hmm. 
So if you're thinking about buying in Trilogy Sunstone or if you have questions about it, please give me a call at 702-370-5112. I've also posted a link to a buyer seller form down in the description below. But most importantly, if you live in this community, let us know what you think of it. Um, how are you enjoying the amenities once the, it opened? I, I want to say it opened in September or October last year. Um, we would like to hear from you. But don't forget to... Like and subscribe. Like, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and we can't wait to see you on the next one.